area of body, when we sit, doesn't get a lot of movement. There's only, there are 10 organs inside the body. Three of them are muscles, the heart, the stomach, and the bladder. But the rest of them require this movement of the diaphragm and the movement of the body to move. So quite often, because we sit right here between the large and small intestine, it's called the iliosynchro valve. And what you're going to do here is right, there's the hip bone, there's the belly button. I'm just going to take my hands in here, and it's, this is just like our organ release, but I'm doing it for her. This is where the organ release came from. And I'm going to take my other hand, I'm going to turn and torque, but I'm pushing upwards so she feels it right into the pelvic area. Is that right? Yes. And I'm just going to turn and push away. And I'm not, I'm stretching the skin, but I'm not pushing in. You see, I'm not going down like this. I'm putting my hand flat and turning the top levels of skin and holding it there and let her breathe. And this is going to open up the iliosynchral valve if you get stuck with uh, bloating and gas or if you're having a lot of skin issues. Uh, if you have autoimmune disease, this is what, something that you want to do. There it goes. Now the whole body, you wait till the whole body just calms down like it did right there. And we're going to do the other side too. Now the other side, we've got the valve of Houston and we've got the small intestine there. But we're still going to do the same thing. These are because it's the same action on this side where the hip is. So I'm just twisting the skin. Twisting and pulling up. And then again, you just keep holding it until the body starts to release. Now, you don't have to do this on a table. You can do this anywhere. You can do it on, on a couch. You can do it on the ground. There it goes. And then the whole body just settles. And because when the pressure rebalances here, the pressure that's pushed up to here just settled. So you saw her shoulders and everything just relaxed when this opened up. When these open up, they're going to feel a little bit of pressure in the head. You'll notice know, so she's very flushed right here. And the reason why is when we change pressure in this area, it has to be reciprocally changed here. Now, what you can do up here if you want to is this, just take the skin above, above the ear here and push down into the jaw. So push the skin away. So stretching the skin away from the jaw, or from the ear. Like this and this is for the same area. This is for the large intestine. Meridian up in the face. And we do the same thing over here. So holding it right here and just stretching, stretching in into the jaw right there. And you can also stretch the other way. And you can turn a little bit. Every time you change angle to turn, fascia response. Good.